Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a $1,000 budget full PC build guide. If you've never built a PC before, you're good. I got you. We're gonna be covering a lot in this video, but the most important part is that by the end of this video, you will know how to, from the very beginning, build the PC to the very end, which is actually playing games and streaming from the same PC. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what's going down. First, I'm gonna be walking you guys through on how to build the PC. Second, I'm gonna show you guys how to install stuff. This includes Windows 10, the drivers for our parts, and the games. And then at the very end, we're actually gonna be playing Rainbow Six Siege while streaming it on the same PC. You guys are probably gonna be curious about the OBS settings. That, of course, will be thrown in as well. A little guide on that. We streamed for three days. For those of you guys who came through and hung out, I appreciate it. It was pretty chill. I had a lot of fun. We're definitely gonna be streaming moving forward. If you guys are interested in the exact quality of the stream, head over to twitch.tv slash Joey's Little Mind. It's linked in the video description. Anyways, guys, I'll shut up now. We're gonna jump into the PC building tutorial. Our CPU of choice is the Ryzen 7 2700X. It's an eight-core processor, and it comes included with a pretty beefy stock AMD heatsink. I disassembled it and spray painted only the top part white to match our theme. The motherboard we're using for this build is the ASUS Prime, rocking the X470 chipset. These are the ports the board is rocking. We do have an optical audio port that'll come in clutch for anyone who needs it, a Type-C port, and plenty of USB ports. So when installing our CPU, we're gonna first pull out and then pull the lever all the way up. We're then lining up the golden arrow on the CPU with the arrow on our board. When lining it up, we're just gonna let it drop into place. It should just fall in. Do not push down on it because that may bend your pins and that's no good. That would be bad news. So with the stock cooler, we have two little clips. One of them has a lever and the other side doesn't. First, we're gonna be clipping on the side with the lever into here. So yeah, just put it in there. Then I'm gonna lift it so I could get it centered and then push it down and clip the other side. The way I clipped in this side was I pushed down with my thumb right here and then with my other finger, I pushed it in. And to finish securing it, we lift our lever all the way up. It will kind of feel like you're gonna break something, but that's normal. You gotta use quite a bit of force and get this to clip in there. Now it's fully secure. So to power our fan, we're gonna hook it up into our CPU fan header on our motherboard. We hook it up here at the top of our board. The board also labels it for you. It's labeled CPU fan. So to control the lights on our LED ring, we need to hook up this cable right here. One end goes into the heatsink, and then the other end hooks up to the board. It's gonna be labeled RGB header one. That's where we plug it in. We went with 16 gigs of RAM rated at 3000 megahertz. We chose blue because it matches that scarf. So pull up the lever on the second and fourth row. So we start with the bottom end first, and then we line it up with the top, pushing down until this clips and our RAM's in. Our board does have plastic film. Get that out of the way. All right, so far it's looking pretty good. Now moving on to our storage. Our main drive is gonna be an M.2 500 gig SSD. This is where we're gonna be installing Windows 10 because when we turn on the PC, our system will then boot up quicker because of the speeds of our M.2 SSD. For the storage of our games, that's where we're gonna be using a one terabyte hard drive. Our M.2 SSD is gonna go under this right here. We're gonna be unscrewing this screw and this screw. These two pieces come included with our motherboard. So one piece is gonna go into the third one. So our M.2 is now gonna sit on top of it. I'm gonna put it in at an angle, get it all the way in there, and then just push it down. There we go. Once we have it secure, before putting this back together, you wanna first remove the protective film on the bottom. Our budget was a bit higher this time around, so we splurged on our case. This is the 220T by Corsair. It comes included with three RGB fans already pre-installed. And on the back side of the case, it comes with a little controller for the RGBs. So this control hooks up to our motherboard by USB 2.0, which then allows us to change all the lighting effects of our fans. We did pick up an additional three fans to throw in there. First, we're gonna be putting in our IO shield in the back of the case. Just snap it in. We have to make sure all the points on our motherboard line up with the motherboard standoffs inside our case. This case already has nine motherboard standoffs in the appropriate position, so we don't have to modify anything. So I first line up the ports of our board with the IO shield, push it in, and then lay down the board. We now secure it with these screws that came with the case. We're gonna be powering everything with a 600 watt gold rated power supply by EVGA. We're gonna slide in our power supply into here, make sure that the fan faces down, and then we secure it. So our power supply cables are black, but I want the cables in the front of the build to be white. So that's why we picked up some extension cables. We're only gonna be using three cables, our 24 pin, our CPU power cable, which is the one that's split, and then an eight pin GPU cable to power our RTX 2060. So here's our CPU power supply cable. Remember, it's the one that's split. That one's in. Next one's our 24 pin power cable. 
And the last cable for our graphics card, it's labeled VGA. CPU cable's gonna hook up in here. Be sure to connect these. Our CPU is ready to go. 24 pin cable, right here. The last cable is for our graphics card, but we're saving that for later. We're gonna be plugging in the ports of our case to the motherboard now, one cable at a time. This is our USB 3.0 cable, goes in there. We're gonna plug in our JFP1 cables now. I'm gonna throw up a chart to help you guys out. Reset switch is gonna go right there. On top of it is the power button, and right next to the power buttons are power LEDs. Our audio cable goes in there. This USB cable is gonna connect the RGB controller. For our fans, right now I'm installing the three additional fans we picked up. These fans have LEDs as well, but they're not RGB, it's just white. So to connect all our fans, we're gonna be using three-way fan splitters. I'm gonna plug in my three front fans to the splitter, and then to the splitter, I'm gonna be attaching an extension cable. So now this is gonna plug into our motherboard and connect all three of our fans. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other three. I'll have these cables linked in the video description. So one of the splitters is hooked up here and the other one I hooked up here. For our hard drive installation, we're gonna be putting it into the case, so just get one of these out. So to power our drive, we hook up a SATA power supply cable. And for our data, we hook up another SATA cable. They're both called SATA and the other end hooks up to our board. And our RGB controller is also powered by SATA. I'm gonna be throwing an RGB LED strip in there. I'm gonna be placing it up here. The other end of our RGB strip, it goes in here next to one of our fan splitters. Our RTX 2060 is the final part we're gonna be throwing in our build. We spray painted it blue. Not the cleanest paint job in the world, but it will have to do. And this is my first time seeing a blue GPU. It's a pretty dark blue, and this is um, gloss spray paint. The card rocks three display ports and one HDMI port. We're gonna be clearing the second and the third slots. Our card's gonna be going into the first PCI slot. We're gonna put the lever all the way back. It already is back, just make sure yours is. And we're gonna line it up. Once it's in place, push it in, and that little lever will click back up. So our final part, guys, what's gonna really make our build pop is our figure. This is not a pop, but it is still Funko branded. This is a day with Pikachu line. That's why we chose the colors we chose. Oops. Whoops. Sorry. And here he is. This is pretty small. It's like smaller than a pop. And I just remembered our graphics card is not even powered. So remember our final cable that plugs into right there. And now we are finished for reals this time. Everything's ready to go. Let's get some lights off. Okay, first boot up. Whoa, that's looking nice. Once we install the programs, then we'll be able to tame the lights to a single color if you wish. Okay. All right, guys, we're gonna be installing Windows 10 drivers and then playing games now, as well as streaming. If you haven't turned on bell notifications yet, be sure to do so, so you can be alerted when we post future builds. All right, guys, so first we need a Windows 10 USB flash drive. I made a video tutorial linked in the video description on how to create this, or you can just buy a flash drive with Windows 10 already on it. We're just gonna boot the PC up now and it's gonna take us where we need to be. All right, guys, installing Windows 10 is just a matter of clicking next for the most part. Oh my geez, the DPI on this mouse is very high right now. If you have a product key inserted here, I don't have one. I'm gonna select Windows 10 Pro next. Right here, pick custom. Then we're gonna be able to choose where we want Windows 10 to be installed. We're gonna select our SSD next. Let this do its thing. Then the computer's gonna restart like two or three times. All right, once we arrive here, Windows 10 is now copied onto our SSD. You can unplug the flash drive now. Right here, this is easy. Just a matter of clicking next. So I'll just skip to our desktop. We arrived at our desktop. First things first, motherboard drivers. This website's linked in the video description. First, we're gonna be downloading our audio driver, saving it to my desktop save. Our LAN driver, that is how I'm connected to the internet right now through an ethernet cable. Saving the LAN driver to my desktop. LAN driver's gonna make sure that the ethernet port is running well, it's stable, and it runs at its speeds that it's capable of. Utilities, we wanna get our RGB LED program, which is called Aura Download. Desktop, chipset driver if you wish, I'm gonna skip it. Now, if we go up here, I'm gonna be downloading the latest version of, there it is, the BIOS. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to update the BIOS. This is not required. It may or may not improve system stability once you update the BIOS. So yeah, download the BIOS, save as desktop. Going back on the website, and I just wanna share with you guys that this motherboard is Ryzen 3000 series ready, so you can upgrade this up to a Ryzen 9 if you wish in the future. Pretty good stuff on AMD's part. All right, guys, all drivers are zipped. We gotta unzip them. Right click, extract all, extract. 
it automatically opens up the new folder which is right here this one we can now install so we're going to do the same thing for all the rest all right cool first our audio driver we're going to find the setup yes restart my computer later all right next one land driver I'm gonna find setup yes and as you can see nothing even happened that's what's supposed to happen it's installed congratulations uh, or a program setup yes next next all right cool remember guys the aura program is what we're going to be using to change the lights of our led strip and the ring light on our heatsink as well to any color you want any lighting effect and whatnot all right guys we can get rid of everything now now we have our bios folder so we're going to be putting in the updated bios file into an empty usb flash drive now we're going to be restarting our computer when the computer is restarting you want to keep pressing delete on your keyboard rapidly and that's what's going to trigger the computer to actually boot up to the bios where we then update the bios there we go okay we're gonna go over to advanced mode and we're going to go over to tool and then right here the flash utility via storage devices next all right so yeah we don't have much plugged in so it's automatically gonna pop up that is the file click it yes so yeah then we're gonna update it as you can see right now we're at version up on top right here 5204 we're updating to version 5406 yes so right now it's updating our bios you want to make sure that your pc does not lose power if it loses power while it's doing this it's going to corrupt the bios and the motherboard is going to be rendered useless you then have to fix the motherboard by yourself or send it to the manufacturer that's really annoying so just make sure your pc doesn't lose power and it's all good once the bios is updated restart your computer again and boot up to the bios we're then going to go over to advanced mode and we're going to go over to advanced nope wait i lied it's ai tweaker all right right here as you can see our ram is only running at 2133 megahertz remember our kit is rated for 3000 megahertz you want to get your money's worth so we want to make sure that it's running at its rated speed and the way we're going to do that is we're going to change this from auto to docp as you can see this went ahead and popped up as 3000 and right here this will now change to 3000 once we go here exit save changes and reset okay all right cool ram's running at its rated speed we don't need this anymore okay guys now our graphics card drivers we want to be at the geforce experience website this is linked in the description too and run there it is yes a green install we're gonna go over to drivers and download all right so what this program does is downloads all the necessary drivers and then automatically installs them for our rtx 2060 then it also downloads well the geforce experience which could be used to record your gameplay press installation yes close and we are pretty much done now we just need to get our games for that well yep steam install it yes next 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 all right guys before we install the game though we want to get it on our hard drive so we're going to right click right here and click disk management because we have to assign a drive letter to our hard drive in order to be able to install games on it i'm going to select gpt okay all right click the box right click new simple volume next next and i'm going to select g for games one terabyte hard drive okay i'm going to click this it just popped up Go to this pc so yeah originally our hard drive wouldn't have even shown up but now it's here because the drive letter okay so now when selecting your game install we're gonna then change the directory to our g drive let's make a new folder in it click new folder steam library folders and select next agree all right that game is being installed so once the game's installed go ahead and restart your computer if you haven't already because yeah all the drivers we just installed and we're ready to go we can play but let's play around with this for a bit color i'm gonna make it bluish bye it worked. This program's only controlling our RGB strip and our heatsink fan. If you want to customize the Corsair fans, then you're gonna need to download their software. It's called IQ. Three fans are connected. How should I know? How should I know? What fans come with this case? We're gonna guess. We're gonna make a guess. We're just gonna leave it on what it's on. Blue, red, white. Everything seems to be running just great. All right, quick little tutorial on OBS. So if we head over to our settings and we go over to output, streaming this is what we're using as our encoder the new nvink encoder pretty much what this does is it takes all the load off our cpu because the cpu is not what's going to be doing the encoding for our stream 
the NVENC chip within our NVIDIA graphics card is going to be doing the encoding. And that's how we're going to be able to achieve a high quality single PC stream. This is going to be a 1080p 60fps stream. We're streaming at 6,000 kilobytes per second or 6 megabytes per second. And yeah, that's our OBS tutorial. Pretty simple. What do I usually place? Gold. I'm going to try to get plat at least this season. Maybe plat is setting the goals too low, right? Maybe we should go for something higher. Rip me teammate. All right, that was the fuser. Nope. Easy ace. It was almost an ace. I'm playing careful though. I'm just trying to win. Yeah. Yeah, Montang's in. Oh, sh What the flip? She ain't even playing? Stupid. I'm not gonna get the That was a bad throw. <laughs> Missed the head. My team has it. My team has it. I believe in them. Yo! Any of you guys just got here we're testing out the new pc build this pc is running everything the stream the game these two cameras that stream deck it's all connected to the pc Ten seconds left. oh my god we barely hit gold As soon as I look away, I get popped in the face. We are not about to get 4 0 All right, just gotta play it cool. Is this where we come back? Oh, this is some ballsy stuff. Let's just chill underneath these hatches. They won't see it coming, right? Oh, I saw him. Fudge. Whoa, they're already in. Where are you at, you little beaver? All right, let's get better position. Fuser is right there. So, yeah, you know what? I'm chilling. This music, though. <laughs> Where's the speaker? Shut up. It's like right in front of me. Oh, shoot, Spider-Man. <laughs> what a getaway. She's going to drop down the hatch. I got to get a better angle. Nice. Yo, you guys saw that getaway, though? That was dope. She just went, Woo! Oh, those were such bad shots. She's lit. We lost. We just lost twice in a row. No, don't do this to me. Nice. No one on stairs, right? Fudge. Oh, that guy was like camouflaged. Holy. Who just shot me? Gotta get this goo off you. Hey, he saw this Michael. Ah! We are in such a bad position. Oh, I heard something. Alright, one more, boys. Nice! Oh. Five seconds. Yo, why is this open? What the? Alright, they're about to rush. We won, guys. Alright, one more to get out of silver. Your mission is to locate and defuse a bomb. Alright. What? I'm tripping. For a moment. Yo! <laughs> One more win for gold. Yeah. Yo, we're out of silver. We're gold. <laughs> oh, man. Finally. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching till the end, guys. I appreciate it. If you haven't turned on bell notifications for the channel yet, be sure to do so so you can be alerted for future vids. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one or on Twitch. Peace. <laughs> Should I've been a little bit more focused on the place that my feet needed to go And as they go past me, I see the last me that I ever will be And they got me asking if living this lightly Has that been the right thing? Or should I've been more focused on where feet wanted to go?